I'm Matt Cuttle in the Jinx News HQ, and guess what else is in here? Yep, today's global gaming headlines. We kick off today's Jinx News with a funny that sort of story. In what shouldn't be a surprise to absolutely anyone, it turns out that Sony Online's DC Universe move to free to play that we reported earlier in the week has resulted in an upsurge in people playing the game. Funny that. Well, given the current economic climate and the fact that people just plain love a bargain, it may seem obvious, but the scale of uptake has been quite impressive, seeing an extra 120,000 PC users join up to the service in just the first few days since the move. That figure doesn't even take into account new PlayStation Network users either. Looks like the DC Universe is about to get a lot fuller. If you fancy putting your underpants on over your trousers and joining them, DC Universe Online is free to play now through PC download and the PlayStation Network. Saints Row is gearing up for its imminent release and the latest trailer for the game is full of, well, to be honest, a whole bunch of weapons we can't show or talk about on a respectable TV show, or indeed any TV show. We can, however, show you these lovely destroyer jets, atomic ATVs, Reaper drones and, uh, Burt Reynolds? Burt Reynolds? Who else could keep this town running? Yup, Burt Reynolds. Needless to say, Saints Row is for adults only and it's due out fittingly on November the 18th. Modern Warfare 3 is out now and reviews of the game are starting to flood in, but we here at Jinx News were already super hyped about playing the latest instalment in the Call of Duty series, thanks to what we think has to be a contender, if not outright winner, for Game Video of the Year. This video, called The Vet and the Noob, stars Sam Worthington and Jonah Hill in a live-action promo for Modern Warfare 3. Worthington plays the Call of Duty vet, accompanying Noob Hill, on a mission and the video shows Hill's progression at the game. There's also a fantastic nod to the phenomenon of noob tubing. Oh, yes! Crazy, Lord only knows what this promo cost, but we think Activision should shift enough copies to cover it. And finally, the series producer of The Legend of Zelda has ruled out the next Nintendo 3DS title in the series being another remake. Speaking to website MyGames, E.G. Enuma stated that a new Zelda game is already in the works, and that rather than being a direct sequel to the DS Zelda titles, it would be more like a console game. Addressing the fact fans have been asking for a 3DS remake of Majora's Mask, Enuma-san didn't dismiss it and said it had been discussed with Miyamoto, but that they already had one remake in Ocarina of Time 3D, and it didn't seem right to follow that up with another, so the next game would be an original. Those were the headlines, I'm Matt Cuttle and this is where I stop talking.